Many people who have been in HVAC for a long time have been through an energy efficiency change before, and it's a big deal. But this one actually has some unique aspects to it that make it even more complex and challenging for industry. So first of all, there's a whole new test procedure being used to certify and rate equipment. And that test procedure is gonna bring about a new metric. So instead of SEER, the seasonal energy efficiency ratio that we've seen for years and years, it's now going to be SEER2 which is a new metric tested in a different way. And we'll start seeing this rating appear on equipment in preparation for the change in 2023. Another aspect of the 2023 efficiency regulation is that there are regional standards and the compliance basis for how a system will, will be considered compliant with the new regulation will depend on the region that you're in. This is really critical for installers, distributors, and wholesalers, and everybody involved to be aware of. And so just as before, there are different standards for the North, the Southeast, and the Southwest. The key difference is that in the Southeast and Southwest, the compliance basis is on date of installation of a system. While in the Northern part of the US, the compliance is based on the date that the system was manufactured. The 2023 efficiency standards affect all HVAC equipment, but it's important to realize that the new test procedure applies to uh, five ton equipment and lower that are single phase. So this is mostly your residential systems, but it can include some smaller commercial systems and uh, your three, four and five ton Renaissance systems. The Department of Energy enforces violations made to the regional standards by reports made via their hotline or by email. They take these very seriously and penalties can be financial and uh, can be applied for each day of non-compliance. It can also take the shape of an installer being required to replace a non-compliant unit at no cost to the homeowner. So we need to take these very seriously because manufacturers may not be able to do business with routine violators.